we are very delighted uh, today to have with us Bishop Antoine Aldo, who's from uh, Aleppo in Syria. And Bishop Antoine, thank you so much for joining us here today. And my first question to you is to, if you could, describe the situation uh, for all people in your native country in Syria. I have uh, to say uh, uh, first that I am uh, very happy to come to, to London. It uh, uh, help, he helps me uh, to, to express uh, our situation, uh, to, uh, to, to, to be, uh, to know that uh, there is a lot of people ar around the world interested by uh, our uh, situation. We are not alone uh, as uh, Christians and uh, coming to, to London to, to the aid uh, to the church uh, in need uh, helps me to express uh, our, our uh, needs, uh, uh, how to create a solidarity to overcome uh, the situation of uh, violence uh, in, uh, in Syria and uh, since uh, three months, especially uh, in Aleppo. Uh, really, we are in a difficult uh, situation. Uh, we, uh, we, we are waiting for a, fair, for a solution uh, from day to, to day, and uh, we don't know uh, what is uh, our future. And uh, this is a very uh, uh, tiring uh, situation uh, uh, for us. And especially for the Christians uh, among uh, the, the Muslim majority, uh, because we are uh, a small uh, groups and uh, and we fear uh, the future. We think uh, about the Christians, uh, uh, for instance, in Iraq, uh, and uh, we don't want uh, to have uh, uh, the problem of uh, uh, immigration of uh, of families. So uh, we, we we wait. We try to, to do our best in a solidarity, in an uh, organization uh, uh, to, to give help to, to, to the different poor, poor families who can stay and uh, uh, overcome this uh, situation. You were describing to me earlier how you were becoming used to uh, the sound of, of disruption, of turmoil, even of bombs falling. What what is it like living in such situation? Is it very must be very frightening? Uh, really, uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, sn snipers uh, attacking uh, uh, people. It's very dangerous to walk in, in some areas. For instance, we have uh, from time to time the fall of uh, bombs on, on the areas on uh, different churches. Uh, and different convent uh, in Aleppo. Uh, we don't know uh, until now if it's directly against uh, Christians or it is uh, the general situation of, of violence. Well, we can't, we can't uh, uh, precise, uh, but uh, this uh, creates uh, really a, a difficult uh, situation. Uh, no security, uh, no, no work, no jobs, uh, so uh, poverty. Uh, we can't uh, travel uh, to go to the airport. It's, uh, we have to, to, to do a, a lot of operations. It's not easy. Uh, I can't go uh, by car more, more than one or two kilometers in Aleppo. Uh, 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 poverty is becoming more and more uh, uh, important uh, in, in all the, the families. No hospitals, no schools, no, no universities. Uh, so imagine this uh, problem. Generally the, the rich uh, Christians of Aleppo left uh, the, the city with their children uh, to have schools uh, in Lebanon. But uh, they represent uh, a minority. The majority of Christians are uh, uh, middle families or poor families, so we, we stay with the poor people now in Aleppo. This is our situation. And what are you doing to help those in greatest need? Yes, uh, uh, if, if I have to speak about uh, the need, uh, 
uh, are uh, uh, very, very big. Uh, first of all, we organize a, a basket food for uh, a group of families in the different uh, areas. We did a program uh, in, in five areas and uh, aid to the church in need helped us, support us to uh, uh, quickly uh, to be ready, to be present and to be uh, uh, involved. Uh, so first of all, uh, food. After that, uh, medicine uh, and uh, helping uh, wounded people by, by uh, bombing in, in the hospitals. Uh, third, uh, uh, scholarity, support uh, schools, group uh, of uh, schools, uh, of Christian school, to continue uh, to pay uh, salary for the uh, t teachers. Uh, fourth, uh, help uh, people uh, to pay uh, the, uh, the, the rent of their apartments because they are becoming poor. And in, uh, in winter, we have to think about uh, winter clauses, about uh, uh, b b uh, 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 to, to can sleep uh, warmly and, uh, uh, and so. Uh, this is uh, our different uh, uh, programs and we are uh, uh, very uh, proud about uh, our youth people, the scout uh, groups who are helping uh, to prepare the, the basket food, to, to do the distribution in those uh, different uh, areas. A, a lot of generosity, a lot of solidarity in, in the, in the uh, suffering situation. And what message do you have for the benefactors of Aid to the Church in Need? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, it's a message of, uh, uh, to, to thank them for their uh, solidarity, for their uh, gen gen generosity. I was told that uh, they are a sim simple family, simple ladies who are working and uh, supporting uh, uh, aid to, to the church in need. And this is a very, uh, really very, uh, uh, very significant uh, for us. Uh, I am sure that uh, uh, aid to the church in need is uh, praying for us and we pray uh, for them. Solidarity in the face, in the, uh, this is our, uh, uh, our uh, uh, strong, our strong, uh, our, uh, uh, our conviction. Uh, it's capable to, to change the mentalities and to gain the, the peace uh, uh, between the people uh, 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 in war. So uh, we continue to pray and we, uh, we thank uh, uh, all our uh, benefactors uh, in this, uh, in, in this uh, difficult situation. Well, thank you Bishop Antoine Aldo for your kind words and um, we wish you as a charity every best wish and every prayer um, for the work that you're doing. Thank you.